Hello and welcome to the third Mercury retrograde of 2021 in an air sign. It is in Libra. September 27th through October 18th. Reevaluation of partnerships. And I have my new ghost tarot that I got and angels answers deck that we're going to use for the ghosts of the past returning to bring balance and clarity. If you have any yes or no questions or timing questions, like when is this gonna happen or is this gonna happen or is this the route I wanna go or is this the right person for me? Remember, it's all for fun, but we are gonna do that. So think of those questions. And I'm just gonna read a little bit about Mercury here. Mercury calibrates the pace of our thinking it is the light bulb moment that captures our attention and the reporter writing the storylines that we use to color code our world. Our personal IT maintenance guy. It is a ripple of electricity riding the airwaves with all devices fully charged. When Mercury arrives and in retrograde, it is going back, reviewing things, looking over documents very carefully. You're being asked to shake up storylines and open yourself up to winged ways in and out of a seemingly stuck situation. Solicit new options, gather more information, do some detective work to smoke out what's actually true for you in this moment and what's a holdover from a past that no longer fits with your present. N know that no belief is set in stone and let this mood ring shiftiness liberate you. Mercury is a reminder that no feeling is final and that you get to choose the perspective that works for you. The journal prompt for this um, from the numerous astro deck is make a playlist of songs you want to make your mantras. Wouldn't that be cool? And then like you play those songs over and over and just to keep you in a good mood. You know, some people can have a little bit of crazy communications during these times. So it's really important to, in the Libra energy, who's always striving for balance, is to try your best to keep your balance, right? Okay, so first we're going to get some of the ghost tarot. Just some quick messages from Mercury this retrograde time. There is a shadow period prior that we're in, we've been in, and then afterwards, but it's September 27th to October 18th. What is this retrograde bringing in for you? Oh, wow, we have the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands. Okay, so what's opening up for you is that there might have been some opportunity that you didn't communicate about, that you didn't um, talk about, you didn't get word from a path, an opportunity, this new way forward, a new idea, creative project, and now you're getting an opportunity to review it again. You, whatever path, because two of wands is like a path opening. Mission work can be sacred love, divine partner mission work can be that as well, but it's something that you were working on or a path that you felt, yeah, that's the right path for me, partnership, this creative project, whatever it was. And I feel like for some reason it didn't work out or it didn't go into fruition or it wasn't launched or you didn't get the call for the opportunity. I feel like it's coming back around again. This can also be a passionate love message, you know, with the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands. Like, you wanna go down this path with me? You wanna go here with me? But it's something that you were working on or thought was an opportunity before. I feel like you're going to get to review it again and communicate about it again. So let's get a little bit more on that. Yeah, look at this. The sun. Clarity. So you're getting some kind of clarity here. Healing. Abundance coming in. A door opening. You, you may have a child or... It's, this is like protecting your, your project, but there's healing here. And this is a very happy card. So whatever this is that's coming in from your past, it's positive. The Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Two speaks of finding that balance, right, with the communication. So whatever it is, there's he, it's, it's very healing to you. And happy news with the sun. 
like finally it's like the the the, the door is opening you, you're finally seeing the light you see that yes because yes because you've been nervous anxious sleepless nights somebody's not sleeping somebody's not speaking their truth somebody's has not been peaceful all up in their head you see how this like negative uh, energy is attached to the head I feel like this is what you fear. It is in the past. It's been toxic. It's, it makes you feel anxious. This communication, this shift, you know, wanting this healing. And I feel like it's coming. This is the end of this cycle if you choose it. And this person, this communication, whatever this is about may make you feel a little anxious. But just remember to ground yourself. Remember to keep your balance. All of the false reality lives in our heads, right? Right? So it's time to end those sleepless nights. But it may give you a little shot of anxiety. Somebody may feel anxious about coming forward and communicating because they dropped the ball before or didn't make it happen before. You know, whatever this was that didn't work out, I feel like you're getting clarity, complete clarity. And look at this, the fool. New, fresh energy. So ghost of the past, a fool, someone that would acted like a fool. Or perhaps you feel like you acted like a fool because you didn't take the opportunity when you could, but you're taking it now. It's taking the sleep of faith. So there's new fresh energy coming in. So if you're feeling anxious about communication or you're feeling that kind of weird feeling in the pit of your stomach, that anxious feeling, right? They cut, you kind of start worrying about it. Focus on positive things, focus on happy things, focus on everything working out because I feel like this is all positive energy with this communication. It's just somebody may feel a little anxious. So find your balance, ground yourself because you're, you're gonna have this opportunity to take this leap of faith down this path that's opening, I feel like again, I keep feeling that way because especially when we're talking about ghosts of the past. So we're gonna ask our first question on this line, okay? So a yes or no question about your path, about an opportunity, about this, whatever you've been seeking clarity on for this leap of faith, whatever communication that you've been thinking about, okay? Whatever that is, you can, you know, pause this, write it down, think about it. But whatever that is, we're just, this is for fun, remember, but we're going to see what the answer is to your question. What is the answer to the viewer's question? about this healing, this clarity, this abundance, this path, this passion, this creative project, overcoming anxiety, new fresh energy, whatever that is. No. And it's like a definite no. And what I feel like spirit is saying with this no is like, no, this isn't the truth. No, those fears in your head are not real. No, no, no. The truth is happiness, joy. The truth is if something doesn't work out, there's something better. The truth is there's a new path opening. That is the message that I'm getting. Okay, so if that's the message, or perhaps you ask a question and, and your answer is no, and you know that, that it's a no. So take that as it resonates, but that's what I'm getting as a collective. There's something, I feel like there's something better if it's a no. But I feel like the bigger message is no, no, no to this. You're going to find peace here in the sun's energy, the fool's energy. Okay, timing. When is this going to happen? Whatever you're wanting. When is this going to all come together? Timing. In the near future. And look at that. Two people coming together. The angels are protecting you. So... If you got a no to your answer, like right now, you're saying, is this going to happen right now? No, but it will happen in the near future. If it's something that's going to be highest and best for you, that would be the answer. Some of it's a flat out no, like that's not, you know, the truth or that's not your way. But I feel like for the most part, it's like, no, it's not right this second because they're still healing. They're still letting go. They're still, you know, overcoming this, ending this cycle. And in the near future, everything, look, that's balance. In the near future means within a few months, like could be a few weeks, could be a few months, but it's like in the near future, so it's not that far off. And then we're gonna get an angel's answer advice here. This. Remain positive. Yeah, so the angel's advice is remain positive right now. Yeah, that's what I feel like, positive shifts in the near future, remain positive now. If it's not happening now, in the near future, this you're gonna get the clarity you need, the communication you need to take this leap of faith. That's what they're saying. 
Okay, we're gonna get one more set of cards here. For this Mercury retrograde. It's a little chunky there, but this is this one. Okay, so look at this, balance coming in. The path is opening. There is a path in the material world to a pentacles energy that is opening up and it looks like a joke or a fool. Or maybe someone was foolish and didn't open up to this path, didn't go down it, was afraid to go down it, had anxiety, but now it's time, it's opening up again. That's what I really feel. This path in the material world is opening up again. No longer going back and forth, it's time to decide. So review everything because it's, it is opening up and I feel like, you know, for some of you, if it resonates, it'd be foolish not to at least open up and explore it. And then here we go. The world, completion, a whole new world. Yeah, you're opening up to something very new, a whole new cycle, clarity with that crystal ball coming in. It's like it's traveling the world, another part of the world. And look at this. And then we have the scales of justice. And this is, we're talking about Mercury retrograde in, in Libra. And this is the Libra's card. Things are coming to ba into balance this season. If you choose to get out of your head, into your heart, heal, let go of whatever this is, you're opening up to a whole new world and justice being served. And look at this, the Knight of Cups is on the bottom. So love, a path you'll love, the love of your life, something that maybe didn't work out before because you didn't go down that path is opening up again. It's This is the path. Whatever path you didn't take part in before or somebody didn't go down before is opening up because things are finally coming into balance remain positive okay so this path this justice perhaps even the legal system ask your yes or no question here for this path for the material world path for this completion this balance this clarity this communication that could be a love situation whatever it is i'm just going to do quick just for fun what is the answer here, spirit, highest and best? And it says no again. So something about no right now. And I mean, maybe that's not what you want to hear, but maybe that is the best answer. So no, not maybe not right now because things need to come into balance. Someone's going back and forth, back and forth, needs to make the decision to complete this cycle, whatever this is. And then in the perfect timing. Okay, so what I keep hearing is right this second no because they're still healing. There's still somebody needs to come out of this energy and complete the cycle and find the balance. Okay, either you or the person you're thinking of or the people that are involved in this court case or this job opportunity, this, this love situation. But in the perfect timing, it's coming. In the perfect time, see that's like, it's like it's divine timing. Everything's being worked out behind the scenes in the near future, remain positive because it's happening in the perfect time. And it could perhaps be when Mercury goes out of retrograde, right? But let's see a little, can we get just one more timing card? No, or advice, I mean, no need to worry. Okay, so spirit saying, don't worry. And look, the rainbow, look at all these blessings coming on. Don't worry, it's happening. Don't worry, in the near future, remain positive. We're working out something even better than you thought but no, not right this second, or no, not the way you're thinking it's gonna happen. Like open up to something new. Open up to this communication. You know, it's for, for some reason they're saying, whatever questions you're asking, it's a no, because both no cards came out, but don't worry, because in the near future, we've got a really great, amazing path that's opening up for you justice communication and an opportunity to take this leap of faith down this path and it's even better than it was before so you really didn't miss out on anything that's what spirit's saying reach out to me if you want to dive into your personal situation i appreciate you being here at map to higher mind love on instagram and katherine nicole map to love oracle on youtube I'm wishing you many blessings